エドモンド・ロ,ロ,<笑>ロスタンです。大変申し訳ありません。これから皆さんにお,お,にお見て、大変申し訳ありません。何分不慣れなため、このようなメモを使わせていただくことをどうぞご了承ください。これから皆様にお見せいたします、シラノ・ド・ベルジュラックの著者です。早いもので、シラノ・ド・ベルジュラックの最初の上演から今年でちょうど100年になります。さて、この物語の主役、シラノ・ド・ベルジュラックは、17世紀のフランスに実在した大変魅力的な人物であります。剣を持たせたら身に出るものはなく、詩を書かせたら天下一品、偉大なロマンチストであり、一匹狼オカミでありました。しかし、そんな彼にも一つだけ悩みがありました。彼が大きすぎる鼻を持っていたということです。彼はその鼻を笑われることを恐れ、愛する女性に告白することができないでおりました。シラノはいとこのロクサーヌという美しい女性に恋をしていたのですが、もちろん今まで一度も彼女への愛を伝えたことはありませんまたパリにはクリスチャン・デ・ニュビレットというとてもハンサムな若い兵士がいました彼もまたロクサーヌに恋をしていますしかしクリスチャンもまた自分の気持ちを美しい言葉で表現できないという悩みからロクサーヌへの愛を打ち明けることができないでおりました美しい言葉を持ちつつも顔に悩むシラノ美しい顔を持ちつつも言葉に悩むクリスチャンこの2人が協力したら一体どうなるのでしょうか。シラノは一計を案じます。また、デ・ギッシュというやつもいます。ギッシュはフランス軍の大将でプラ、プライドの高い嫌なやつなのですが、そいつもまたロクサーヌに恋をしております。しかし、ロクサーヌはギッシュは大嫌いです。また、シラノの友人で、酔いどれ知人のリニエは、ギッシュを批判する死をばらまいたため、ギッシュ,のギッシュに命を狙われております。ギッシュはリニエを殺すために100人もの殺し屋を雇いました。物語はパリのとある劇場から始まります売れっ子役者のモンフルリーが今まさにジュリアス・シーザーの有名なセリフを披露しようとしているところですしかしモンフルリーはシラノにステージに立たないように言われておりましたどうしてでしょうかシラノはモンフルリーがロクサーヌを見るいや,いやらしい目が嫌いなのですさてそれでは劇場へ参りましょうバッチューチコソドロ酔っ払い下っ端兵士などさまざまな人間が出る劇場です She isn't here yet. I don't think she is coming. Oh, but she must. Well, if she doesn't come soon, I'm going out for a drink. Oh, you must stay and help me. I don't speak to her myself. I don't have the skill to express my love properly. I'm only a soldier. A shy soldier. A shy soldier. She <laughs> might reject me if I don't say the right words. Don't go, Rinya. She'll come soon, I'm sure. She always sits over there. I don't care where she sits. I want to go and have a drink. Look, there's Ragnar. He might be able to help us. Ragnar! Ah, <coughs> my good friend, Rinya. Uh, have you seen Cyrano? Not yet. Ragnar, 
Allow me to introduce my young friend from the south. This is Christian de Nouvelet. He arrived in Paris only a few weeks ago. Yes, I came to Paris to join the girls. I'm going to be maiden officer tomorrow. Yay! I'm delighted to meet you, Monsieur. This is Monsieur Ragnar, the finest pastry cook in Paris and the best friend of all poets. You honor me too highly. Uh, it's is Cyrano here? I'm surprised. Why? Most Larry is the main actor. That's why. But why is that important to Cyrano de Belgrac? Haven't you heard? Cyrano had a quarrel with Most Larry and ordered him not to appear on the stage for a whole month. White wine, red wine, two francs the grass. I'll have a couple of legs. Uh, no, three. Here, Christian, have some wine. It will give you some confidence when your sweetheart arrives. <laughs> Who is this Cyrano? Cyrano do Beldrac. You'll soon get to know him. He is one of the girls. And what a man. He really knows how to handle a sword. That's his best friend over there. He can tell you more about him. Lovely. Are you looking for Cyrano? Yes, and I'm worried. If he comes here tonight, there will be trouble! <laughs> oh, lovely. Why, 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 please? This is Christian the New Blood. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to join the girls tomorrow. He'd better be warned about Cyrano, hadn't he? Uh, why? What's so special about him? He's the most delightful man under the sun. He's a poet, a swordsman, a musician. He's everything. Gambler, drinker, swordsman, poet. <laughs> There's nobody like him anywhere in the world. And what an appearance. With his white plumed hat and his billowing cloak, he carries his nose before him like a... Yes, his nose. <laughs> yes, gentlemen, what a nose. People who see him smile and think it's a false nose and say he'll soon take it off. But Cyrano de Bergerac never takes off his nose. <laughs> yes, he keeps it on. And if anyone looks at it too closely, he runs him through with his soul. But I don't think he'll come here tonight. Yes, he will. He'll come all right. この部屋の詩がクリスチャン、そしてシディンのリニエ。こちらが景気屋の主人ラグノ、そしてシラノの友人ラブレです。クリスチャンは恋するロクサーノを探しています。そして彼らがたった今話してきた人物こそ、我ら
She is the cousin of Cyrano, the man we've just been talking about. Who is that man? That, my friend, is Count de Guiche. He is in love with her too. But he's a very powerful and unpleasant man, commander of the army. Look, I've, I've published a poem, a poem about the price and power of the Guiche. The Guiche hates me for having written it. Let me recite it, recite it for you one day. Now, I must leave. I'm going to go drinking with my friends. <laughs> no sign of Siwao. I can't believe it. I was sure he'd be here tonight. What's the devil are you doing? No, I didn't! Let me go! And I'll tell you a secret! What is it? The drunken poet Lydia! The man who just left you! Yes, go on! He's going to be killed! He's going to be killed! He published the poem against the Count of Kish! Just now, was there! And the Kish had A hundred men? How do you know this? Be, be, because I'm one of the men hired to kill him. Now let me go. When is this attack going to take place? Near the hotel bill. You must warn Lydia. But how can I find him? At the seven year tower. That's where he's drink. You must hide him. Let's go. Oh, the banker was a hundred men against one. I must go immediately. How can I bear to leave her like this? I'm leaving her with him. But I must save Linia. Christian wa Linia ga inochi o nerawarete deru koto o shirimasu. Degishu wa jama ga Linia o shirimasu suru tame, koroshia 100 nin ni kare no inochi o nerawasemasu. Oh, my God. 
want a taste of my suit? Let me your ears! Let me your ears, you idiot! Hold the stage! I come to bury Shida! I come to bury you! I'm about to lose my temper. Oh, you gentlemen. Oh, is you acting? Yes. If you do, you put off, I'll thrust your backside in the of this. This is a pleasure. I want you all to sit quietly in your seats. Otherwise, my sword will knock your hats off. This is too much. More fluidity. More fluidity will leave if he doesn't want his ears cut off and his berry ripped open. He will leave. You can't! Still there. Very well, then. I'll go up onto the stage and carve up that fat sausage into thin slices. By insulting me, sir, you insult the goddess of drama. <laughs> the goddess of drama. <laughs> She's no friend of yours. If she ever met you, sir, she'd want to give you a hearty kick in the bottom. My soul, it's longing to get busy. Off the stage. Ashamed to look at my naked sword. No hands up? No heroes? Then I'll get on with my business. I want the theater cleared of this lump of disease. Otherwise, I'll cure it myself. Um, well, I. Uh... I'm going to clap my hands three times. By the third clap, Mohuli, you will be gone. One! Well, I think I... Hey, more flurry! Stay! Two! I'm sure it would be better if... Three! Let him come back, if he dares. We are the theater manager. What? Secret. But you have prevented us from watching the great drama. Julius Caesar, I insist that. Sir, you are utterly lacking in artistic taste. My dear, it's a scandal. How dare I interrupt the performance? Fair ladies, blossom with beauty and fill our dreams with longing, but don't try to judge drama. What about the money to be rehanded to the audience? Be quiet. Thank you, sir. the theater. Everyone out, please. This is madness. 
What a scandal! My dad is the great actor. Made a fellow in public. You are asking for trouble, sir. Doing a thing like that. Do you have anyone to protect you? Um, no. Why should I? You are likely to be attacked in the street. You need a bodyguard. This is my bodyguard. Uh, but, but... Go away. Or tell me why you are looking at my nose. I wasn't. Do you find my nose surprising? You are quite mistaken, sir. Is it dangling like an elephant's trunk? I didn't. Or is it hooked like a bird's beak? Well, uh, Do you see a pimple on the end of it? Or a fry walking on it? I didn't mean. What's unusual about my nose? Nothing, I. Is it a shocking sight? Sir, I've been careful not to look at it. Why not? Why shouldn't you look at my nose? I was just about. Does it disgust you? Sir. Does its color look unhealthy to you? No, sir, not at all. Does it have an ugly shape? Not in the slightest. Then why do you make such a bad face, sir? Do you find my nose uh, perhaps a little too large? Oh, oh no, it's quite small. <laughs> <laughs> I mean very small. <laughs> You accuse me of having a small nose. My nose? Small? That's too much, sir. Please, sir. My nose is enormous, you flat face fool. I carry it with pride because a big nose is a sign of friendliness, kindness, and courage. You have none of those qualities, sir. Farewell. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to anyone else who may feel that my nose is amusing. Isn't there anyone who can keep him quiet? Yeah. I will. <laughs> Just watch his face when he hears. What I have to say to him? You have a nose that... Your nose is very big! Indeed. Yes. Very big. <laughs> is that all? Well, you are also extremely arrogant. Delighted to meet you. <laughs> I am Sabine and this Ronald Bergerac. <laughs> you clownish idiot! <laughs> What's the matter now? I must move it. It's fallen asleep. It needs exercise. <laughs> What's it about? I have a pain, a cramp in my soul. Stupid! <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a charming little thrust. <laughs> you ridiculous poet! Yes, sir. I am a poet, and I'll demonstrate my skill by composing a poem while I fight a duel with you. Composing a poem while fighting a duel? Impossible! On the contrary, it's perfectly possible. I'm going to compose a poem while I fight you. And when I come to the last line, I'll draw blood. No, you won't. No, I won't. Wait and see. <laughs> Ballad of the duel between Monsieur de Bourgeois and an idiot. about? <laughs> <laughs> it's the title of my poem. Are you ready? さあ、いよいよ白野の登場です。詩人で剣士で全てである白野は、今回は決闘しながら詩を作って見せると宣言しました。しかし芝居の邪魔をされ、大恥をかいたモンフルリの怒りもただごとではありません。さあ、果たし
I take off my hat with a sweep and slowly abandon my cloak. I wake up my soul from its sleep and prepare for its first master stroke. Now, where shall I thrust in my brain? In the heart of the heart, right or right? Oh, sir, you look frightfully afraid. You should have avoided this fight. Your face is as white as a sheet as I force you back to the cloud. Oh, you look fall in a heap at their feet, and their clients will be scoffing and round. <laughs> Now, play to the Lord for salvation, for safety is now what you need. So I end my unique recitation. <laughs> See, thus I conclude. <laughs> ah! And you believe. have a talk with you. Wait. May I say? Oh, God! Will you be having dinner, sir? No. Why not? Because... Because I don't have any money. What? You need that buckle money? I have nothing left. How first of you two throw it all away like that? Yes, but what a splendid gesture. Tell me, what do you want to say to me? Your acts of bravado are going to get you into trouble, throwing out one blueberry words. It was magnificent. <coughs> you make many enemies. What is the real reason why you hate Mont Fleury? That great bug of guts. I can't bear the way he looks at ladies with those great frog eyes of his. I've hated him ever since that day he looked too lovingly at... What this? Is it cause for that? <laughs> that I'm in love? <coughs> yes, it's true. May I ask you, with whom you are in love? You never told With me. whom I'm in love? Now, think a moment. This nose of mine, which precedes me by a quarter of an hour, wherever I go, prevents me from ever dreaming of being loved by even an ugly woman. <coughs> you ask me, with whom I'm in love? Whom else? but the most beautiful woman in the world. The most beautiful? Papa said, tell me, who is she? Is it your cousin, Roxan? <coughs> yes, Roxan. There, you should be overjoyed. You love Roxanne? Ha! Tell her so! You are shining with glory tonight. She will admire you above heaven! No, no. I have no illusions. Sometimes, in the evening, I take a walk in the garden. 
smelling the fragrance of the flowers with my enormous nose. I see a man and a woman strolling together in the moonlight. And I think how much I do like to be walking arm in arm with a woman. Then I see the shadow of my nose on the garden wall. so miserable, knowing myself to be so ugly, so much alone. Come! Don't be sad. Love is only a game of chance. Speak to her, tell her, so that... So that she'll laugh in my face? No! That's the one thing in the world I fear to be laughed at because of my monstrous nose. Sir! This lady would like to speak to you. Roxanne Chapel, our duenna. Sir, my lady Roxanne wishes to ask her brave cousin Silano where she can meet you. Roxanne wants to meet me? Yes, she has <laughs> things to tell you. My God. Where can she meet you? Where? I. Oh my God. Where? Well? I'm trying to think. What about Ragnar's place? Yes, at Ragnar's shop. Ragnar's cake shop. Very well. At 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yes, at Ragnar's cake shop. I'll be there. Me! She wants to see me! <laughs> I see your sadness has vanished. At least, at least, Rockstar knows I exist! Please be calm! No, I need whole armies to conquer. I have ten hearts, twenty arms. It's no longer enough for me to defeat idiots like Mark Rowley. I need giants! <laughs> against me, a hundred men are being sent to murder me because, because I wrote a poem against the geese. A hundred men, they want to murder you. Yes, he wrote a poem against the geese and the geese had ordered a pack of assassins to attack Linear on his way. A hundred men, fear not Linear. You'll sleep safe in your bed tonight. Uh, but, but walk but along the street outside quite normally. I'll protect you. All the others follow at a distance and watch what I do. You'll be the witnesses. A hundred men? How can you? I need enemies to vanquish. I need a thousand enemies. What are you going to do? What do you think, my friend? I'm going to save my drunken friend, Linia. I'm going to challenge the hundred assassins. I alone am going to conquer them. Why should you risk your life for a drunken fool like this? Because Linia is my friend. Let's go. <laughs> yes, don't try to help me. I'm going to manage this affair alone.
白野はモンフルリーとの決闘に見事勝利しましたラブレーは白野にモンフルリーを嫌う理由を尋ね白野のロク,ロクサーヌへの思いを知ります白野は密かにロクサーヌに恋をしていることを認めましたそこへ現れたロクサーヌの付き人はロクサーヌが白野と個人的に話したがっていると告げ翌朝ラグノーのケーキ屋で話をする約束をしましたそれを聞いた白野は大喜びですリニエはデギッシュが雇った殺し屋が自分を狙っていることを知り白野に助けを求めました白野は彼を守るために夜の街へと飛び出していきましたさて話は翌日へ移りますここはラグノーのケーキ屋ですそろそろ友達が集まってきます What are these? Cream puffs, sir. Cream puffs? What's wrong with them, sir? I don't like their shape. A cream puff should be an object of beauty. And this one from the same baking should be like a poem. And they should rhyme like this. Oh, lovely puffs of cream. Your taste is like a dream. But these are unpoetic. I'm romantic. Take them away. I don't understand him. To me, a cake is a cake, and that's all. The master treats every cake in the shop as if it were a poem. Yes, my friend, a poem. Even a simple cream puff should be a work of art. Ah.、Oh. Poetry is the essence for the life. Without it, life is meaningless. Delicious. Listen to this. The silver gleam of dawn turns to the flush of morn. Delightful, divine. It's ridiculous. Who wrote that rubbish? My good friend, Dinia. He's a genius. He's a cream, cream of the poets who come here every day to read their poems. They eat too many of our cakes. No wonder we are always short of money. For God's sake, husband, remember you are a baker, a maker of cakes, not a poet. I'm a baker, poet, or poet baker. Every cake I produce is a beautiful poem, and every poem I compose is a Is for the mind. Well, you eat the poems and I will eat the cakes. Remember your position, my dear Liz. You are my wife, and a wife's place is to obey her husband. Husband, here are the bags you asked for. The bags? Thank you. What's this? My friend, poetry. You've cut up their precious poems and turned them into paper bags for cakes.、Uh, whatever will my friends say? I, I don't care what they say. All poets are fools. They'll be heartbroken. Ah, customer. What will you have, young sir? Three small pies, please. Three small pies, hot and brown. Each one try grab princess crown. Lulu, ah, Lulu, Lulu, Lulu. Ah, come on. Ah, that's a hero, noble and wise, lifted to heaven. It's Shining eyes. No, not this one. These lines are full. But the rose was smiling, flashing in the sun. No, not not this one either. It's one of Linnaeus. Are you going to give me my pie? Don't keep him waiting. Give the young man his pie. 
but not one, not in one of these bags. Here, I'll give you six without the bag. Will that do? One, <laughs> two, three. Didn't I see you at the theater last night? Yes, it was so exciting. Cyrano de Bergerac was fantastic. Incredible! Everything Cyrano does is incredible. What was all that shouting about last night, sir? I heard something about one man fighting against a hundred. Do you know who it was? No, I had to rush up here and get on with my baking. Uh, but I did hear that someone defeated a hundred men single-handed. Those pies will get cold if you don't hurry home. What a tragedy. These immortal poems condemned to become paperbacks. You are just a romantic idiot. The cries and clash of battle filled the night. Up there, the mighty hero stood on high. Oh, it's magnificent. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Magnificent. Cyrano, I'm so glad to see you. What happened? You've injured your hand. Oh, it's nothing, just a little scratch. I'm waiting for someone here. When the time comes, I'd like you to leave us alone together. Uh, no, I can't do that. There will be customers and poets in and out all the time. Those wretched folks coming to eat their free breakfast. Please ask everyone to leave when I give you a signal. What time is it? Uh, 20 minutes to 7. Can you lend me a pen? Here. What time did you say it was? Uh, getting for seven o'clock. <laughs> Excuse me, I have business to attend to. I'll now write down on paper the love letter that I've already written a hundred times in my heart. Linia! How very good to see you! Uh, come in, come in! Well, we are good reading poets! Ha! Good morning, Ragnar, poet of the cake shop! Did you hear about the great fight last night? Eighteen assassins killed by one man! I thought there were a hundred! All the others ran away! It was extraordinary! Just one man against a hundred! Do you know who the hero of that combat was? No. I love you. <laughs> it was unbelievable. A hundred men put to road by just one man. Your eyes. Your lips. Take it, 
ラグノーは彼の契機はしのように美しくなければならないという信念を持っています。しかし彼の妻リズはそのような彼の気持ちを全く理解しません。ラグノーは友人リニエの死が神包みに使われていることを知り衝撃を受けます。そんなことも強い
Yes, all words are delicate, and they come from a handsome, attractive face. But what if he's an idiot? Then I kill myself. You've fallen in love so quickly, and you came here to tell me this. Why? I've heard that all new officers in the guard are very terribly. And when I thought about Christian the new villain being beaten up like that, I trembled with terror. But why come to me? When I saw you yesterday, forcing Mohduri to leave, and then fighting that duel with him, I thought, here is a man whom everybody is afraid of. If only he'll take care. Very well. I'll protect your precious little baron. Oh, I knew you would. I've always have such warm feelings for you. <laughs> yes, yes. You'll be his friend. You won't let him be injured. I'll take care of him. You won't let him be buried. No. I promise.白野は六歳の自分への愛を告白し Yeah, he is. Yeah, Captain. Sir. Our hero. We know all about it. We all want to congratulate your great bravery last night. But... <laughs> Come on outside. They want to meet you. No. They want to drink to your success. No, I... Move. Come out! Everybody wants to meet you! Can't you hear them? They won't see you! There's an enormous crowd out there. Have you seen? Roxanne? Be quiet. Great fight. Last night was a triumph. This 
in the month who defeated those hundred men last night. Simone Balzac, single handed, it was magnificent. Lano, you never told us. The chief marshal has just learned of your adventure last night at the Hotel de Ville. He wishes me to express his admiration to you. I understand your career has been full of such deeds of bravery. You serve in the guards, don't you? Yes. I'm an officer in the guards. He's one of us. Yes. He's one of us. Would you like to become one of my personal followers? No, sir. I prefer to follow nobody. My uncle, the Bishop of Paris, was amused by your reckless fight in the theater last night. He'd be very willing to to raise your position in society. My God! No, oh. so thank you, sir. I need no help from anyone. You are a proud man. Have you noticed that? ドギッシュは劇場での白野の勇敢な行動に褒美を与えるよう軍の最高司令官から命令されてやってきましたが、白野はそれを断りました。ドギッシュはまた彼の配下に加わるよう求めますが、白野は相手にしません。Look, Shirano, these are the hearts of some of the people you fought last night. They ran away so fast, they left their hearts behind them. The trophies of battle, <laughs> prizes of war. <laughs> Who hired those hundred cowardly attackers must be feeling angry today. Who orders that attack? Does anyone know? Yes, I'd like to know who said the hundred man. The attack just one man. Who orders that attack? I did. <laughs> I hired them for a job. I didn't want to do myself. To punish a drunken poet who insulted me. What shall we do with this? Sir, would you like to take this back to your friends? I wish to live in middle. You, sir, do you know the story of the man of La Mancha, that crazy knight called Don Quixote, who attacked the windmills? Yes, I know it very well. A magnificent book. But remember this. When people attack windmills, they get thrown down into the mud. Or they get lifted up into the stir. <laughs> <laughs> he said you've gone too far. Yes, I've gone too far. I always go too far. You've thrown Nabeo marvelous chance for promotion. The guest has great power. Now, you've offended him, made another enemy. So much the better. Do you think I want to follow a man like that? No, thank you. Do you think I want to be an Oily, yes, man. No, thank you. No. I'll be a tree that stands on its own. Stand alone, if you like. But why set everyone against you? Why make enemies wherever I go? Because that's what I like doing. I love to be hated. To have enemies on every side makes me strong. 
And to live strongly means to live a life of glory. Why don't you simply admit that Roxanne doesn't love you? Stop. Be honest. Now. Well, Christian. Serrano, will you tell us your story now? Yes! yes. Now, a little later. No, no! The story of Serrano's combat last night will be the best way to teach <laughs> his new baby officer of our <laughs> time to. New baby officer? Yes! <laughs> Newcomer! Weakling! Weakling? Monsieur the new village, it's time for you to learn something. Listen carefully. There is a certain object. There is a certain object that we all are very careful not to mention in your resume. What do you mean? What object are you talking about? Look at me. Do you understand? I think so. You must mean Cyrano's nose. You must never speak that word. If you do, he'll get terribly angry. He's already killed one man because he took out his handkerchief to blow his. That's such a soft hearted Frenchman like you deserve. Koehekachiga, he no Christian wo ijimete imas. Taichou wa Christian ni yuki o shimese ba mirai ijime o yameru daro to jomen shimas. Captain, yes. what should I do when my fellow officers try to free me? Prove yourself to be a brave man. <laughs> Thank you. Now, tell us your story. Yes, 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 sir. Sir. yes, 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 I was walking along the street. There was no moon. It was so dark. I couldn't see yep. the end of your nose. <laughs> Who is this man? A new officer. He joined us only this morning. This morning? His name is Christian de Nibelet. Oh. I'll... Very well. As I was saying, damnness! It was so dark that I couldn't see anything. I walked along thinking of Count de Guiche, who would be offended by your nose. Who would think of me as an enemy because I was deliberately your nose into putting myself at a disadvantage because the Guiche might look down his Nose at you. Make things me difficult for me. A moment later, someone nosed you out in the darkness. Attacked me with a sword. I returned a thrust and suddenly found myself. Nose to nose. No. By heaven, I. I found myself facing a hundred men, all shouting and all swearing. With their noses, of course. Sweating of garlic and cheap wine. I plunged into the midst of them. Those first. And immediately cut down two of them. As I was attacking a third, I saw a sword. But who it belonged to? Nobody knows. Out! All of you, get out! A tiger has finally awakened. Leave me alone with this man. Let's go. Is the Siamo going to kill that poor fellow? Probably. They are going to be hard on murder. <laughs> Embrace me. Sir, I... You are a brave man. Would you mind telling me? I'm her cousin. Whose cousin? Hers. Oh. 
Charles, Rogue Sands. You her cousin? Yes. And she's told you about everything. How happy I am to know you. That's a lot of sudden change of feeling. Forgive me. It's true. You are handsome. If you only knew, sir, how much I admire you. But all those no's you gave me, I take them all back. Roxanne expects to receive a letter from you this evening. Oh, no. What? If I lie to her, she'll never want to see me again. Why not? Because I don't know how to write love letters. Whenever a woman looks at me, I just don't know what to say. I have no ability whatever to speak of love. Now, that's one thing I can do. Oh, I could do if I didn't have such an ugly face. Ah, uh, if only. I could express myself more beautifully. If only I had a handsome face. Shirano, Hana no koto e ware gekido shimashita ga, aite ga Roxana no aisuru Christian da to shiri ikari o osaimashita. Kare ra wa shitashiku narimashita ga, futari tomo sore zore no nayami kara kokohaku suru koto ga dekizu nagei teimasu. Tsuzuite, tagai no nayami o shita Shirano wa, jibun tachi no ai o tsutairu tsubarashii idea o omoi tsukimasu. Roxana is so refined. And elegant. I'm sure to make a fool of myself when I speak to her. I need the power of charming speech, but I have none. I'll lend you mine. You lend me your physical charm, and I'll lend you my power of speech. And together, we'll create a romantic hero. What do you mean? Together, we can win her heart. Allow my soul to enter into your heart. But, Siran, are you willing? I'm afraid. If she hears my words from your lips, Roxanne will be on fire with passion. Your eyes are shining. Will you do it? Oh, it would be delight. Shall we complete each other? We'll walk together. You in the light, I in the shadows. I'll make you eloquent. You'll make me handsome. But I must write to her quickly. I'll never be able to. Here's your letter. It's all finished except for the name and address. What? You can send it just as it is. Don't worry, it's beautifully written. What have you already? I always have a letter like this in my wallet, written to some imaginary radio of my dreams. But you can change my dream into reality. Here, take it. But won't something have to be changed if you wrote it for some imaginary woman? It won't fit Roxanne. It will fit Roxanne perfectly, like a glove. Ah, uh, my friend. David has become a gender the lamb. Does he allow people to talk about his nose now? What's this? Um. What's that long thing on your face, sir? It reminds me of something, but I can't think what it is. Then let me help you stir your memory.
席の方にお戻りになられたでしょうかそれでは後半を始めます白野とクリスチャンはロクサーノを勝ち取るために手を組みました白野はクリスチャンがロクサーノへ送るためのラブレターを書き続けています3人にはつかの間の幸せが訪れておりますロクサーヌはクリスチャンから見事に書き上げられた手紙を受け取り大変喜んでいますシラノも自分の書いた手紙が褒められてひそかに喜んでいます次にロクサーヌに恋しているもう一人の男ドギッシュが戦争に行く前の別れの挨拶にやってきます I will come to say goodbye. You are going away? Yes, to war.、Ah. I'm leaving tonight. We are fighting against the Spanish at Arras.、Ah. I'm heartbroken, Roxanne. Shall I ever see you again? I'm leading the guard into battle. The guard? Oh, Christian! What's the matter? Told me when the woman cares for a man and learns that he's going to war. I'm so happy that you care for me. Have you made your plans to get your revenge on Slano? Yes, I'm thinking about it. 
Are you planning to take revenge on Serrano by exposing him to the gunfire of the enemy? That's right. <laughs> Put him into the greatest danger possible. That won't do any good. Serrano loves danger. I know a better way for you. You get revenge. How? Leave him behind here with his regiment of guards. When the army goes off to fight at us, if you want to punish him, keep him out of danger. <laughs> <laughs> Only a woman could think of a trick like that. He suffered terribly from impatience and shame. If you keep him out of the action, then lose revenge. So. You do love me a little. Here are my order to the regiment. This is for the guard. I'll keep it. Ha ha! Silano! It'll be good to see. How you are fighting spirits of a flame in the kitchen. And now, Roxa. Oh, how can I leave you? Where I know not that you love me. Oh, we can meet when you come back. There may never be another chance like this. No, you must go to war and be a hero. <laughs> Antoine. What a heavenly word. Do you really love? Yes. I love the man for whose safety I fear. Very well. I'll go. You'll be waiting for me when I come back to Paris. Yes, Antoine. <laughs> クリスチャンを危険Just a moment. You always ask him questions of one kind or another. What are you going to ask him this time? This time? <laughs> yes. You won't tell him, will you? I'll be as silent as the grave. Well, this time, I'm not going to ask him any questions at all. I'm going to say to him, let your imagination run wild. Speak to me freely of love in your magnificent way. Good. Mr. Ward, if he knows what I'm going to say, he might prepare a speech in advance. Do you really think so? Don't tell him anything. I don't want any artificial words from him. I want him to speak from his heart. Do come along, son. We'll be late. Christian! Can she meet me? Not yet. She wants you to wait for her here. I know what she's going to say to you. So let's prepare your memory. Here is the very chance to cover yourself with glory. 
She's going to ask you to... No! What's the matter? Don't you want me to help you compose beautiful words to speak to Roxanne? No, I'm tired of burning my letters and speeches from you. I'm very grateful for your help, but now that I feel she really loves me, I'm no longer afraid I'm going to speak for myself this time, without your help. Do you really think that's a good idea? What makes you think I can't do it? After all, I'm not so stupid as I thought. You see, I'm sure I can speak without your guidance now. Here she comes. No, Sirano, don't believe me. Speak for yourself, sir. Congratulations on your success. Help me! No! If I don't bring her back immediately, I'll die! How can I teach you immediately? It takes time! You have to memorize the words I give you. Oh, look! Roxanne's window. I'll die! Oh, your voice. I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> you don't deserve my help, but stand here in front of the balcony. Rest full of us. I'll stand under the balcony telling you what to say, but quiet. Ah, uh, that's 
My words have to creep through the darkness to find your ears. But my words don't have the same difficulty. Your words come to me quickly because they fall from high up down to me. Whereas my words have to creep through the night to your ears. But they seem to be climbing better now. They have gained strength from hearing the sweetness of your voice. It's true that I'm speaking from high above you. I come down. No. Then climb up on that bench. No. Why not? I want to go on taking advantage of this, this chance of talking quietly without seeing each other. Why should we talk without seeing each other? I find it delightful. You see the blackness of my long cloak. I see the whiteness of your gown. I'm only a shadow. You are a halo of brightness. This moment is one of such sweet enchantment. I may sometimes have spoken sweetly in the past. Ah, uh, yes, you have. But until now, my words have never come from my true heart. Why? Because till now I have always spoken through. Through what? Through the. Love that anyone feels who stands before your gaze. But tonight, it seems I'm speaking to you for the first time. Perhaps it's true. Even your voice is different. Yes, quite different. Because in this darkness, I dare at last to be myself. I dare. Oh, what was I saying? I don't know. All this, excuse my excitement, all this is so enchanting, so new to me. So new? Yes, it's new to me, to be sincere, without the fear of being laughed at. Laughed at for what? For my excess of feeling. I try to bring down the stars from the sky, then afraid of being laughed at. I merely stoop and pick little flowers of language from the ground. You've never spoken to me like this before. True love speaks straight from the heart. I'm overwhelmed with love. Your name is in my heart like a bell shaken by my constant trembling, ringing day and night. Roxanne! 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 Ah, uh, yes, but very rough. Are you beginning to understand now? Oh, it's all too beautiful, too sweet this evening. I say all these things, and you listen to me. You listen to me. Oh, it's more than more, more heart can bear. I could happily die at this moment. Then let death come. I ask only one thing. A kiss. What? Oh. You ask? Yes, I. You are going to what? She is in a waiting mood. I must take the chance. Yes, I asked for a kiss. But now I realize I was too bold. You don't insist? Yes, I insist. But not insistently. Don't give me that kiss. Why do you say that? Wait, what are you saying? You must get the kiss for me. Sooner or later. Come to me. Come and give me that flower of love. I love to love. I love but 
Now, it seems to me it's wrong to... Why, you fool? Oh, Rosa! What strange feelings in my heart. I feel like a ghost at a feast. At a feast of love. But that love is made of the words. I spoke to her. Oh, not too long with Christian. Ro Robson! Who is it? It's I. I was just passing by. Is Christian still here? Cyrano! <coughs> Good evening, cousin. Good evening, cousin. I'm coming down. Oh, two of my girls, the tutor clever, Cyrano. And the handsome Christian Nubieta. Oh, Christian, Christian, never leave me. Cyrano was <laughs> finally Christian to save me. The balcony was held up, but the three of them had the most beautiful happiness. However, Cyrano was not able to save Christian from the kiss of Roxanne. He was able to save the kiss of the two of them, and he was able to save the kiss of the two of them. そこへ再びドギッシュがやってきます。四人は鉢合わせにやりなりました。束の間の幸せに影がし、影が差し始めます。The army is about to leave for us. Your regiment included. Report to your captain immediately. To go to war? Of course. But Christian regiment isn't going. Yes, there. I have changed my mind. Here is the order. Deliver this to your captain immediately. Tell him his regiment is to leave tonight. Oh, Christian! Oh, I see your cousin looks sad. He is deeply in love with this new young officer. Oh, Roxan, I must leave you. It's Impossible to come, leave. Come, come, enough. You can't imagine. I can't imagine. The drum, the army is out to depart. Prepare yourself instantly. I'll do my best, but I can't promise anything. Promise me that you make him be very careful when you're going to battle. I'll try, but... Promise me that he'll be faithful forever. Of course he will, but... Promise me that he write letters to me often. <sighs> yes. That's one thing I can promise you.
フランス軍とスペイン軍が激しい戦いを繰り広げております前の場面でドギッシュはロクサーヌが愛しているのは自分ではなくクリスチャンだと知りました怒ったギッシュは前衛を撤回してシラノとクリスチャンを最前線へと送りました果たして彼らは無事でしょうか心配したロクサーヌやラグノーたちが彼らの後を追って戦場へとやってきます Things often turn out better than we expect. I'm so grateful to you and Vinya for bringing this food here. Christians and Stirano must be starving. The army never gives them enough to eat. Oscar, oh, please help us. What's the matter, madam? Two of the Oscars in the French army are Baron Christian de Neuville. My cousin Slano the Birdrock. We've come with provisions for them. The new villet, the Birdrock, they are both in the same regiment as you. Oh, do you tell me, as they say? I saw them a few minutes ago, but I'm not sure where they are now. I suggest you go and ask at their headquarters. It's not far from here. You can see the tent on the street. I'll go. You stay here and look after the ladies. Patient Roxanne, Cyrano promised to protect him. But the geese is in command. He is sure to help the Christian in the most dangerous place. Come on, sit with me, my dear. We must trust in the providence of God. Come this way! French army at the height of the battle. The Spanish have broken out of the town. They are fighting outside the walls. The cannons are blazing on both sides. The banners are flying in the wind and the smoke. And Christian? What about Christian? Is he safe? Is he alive? Yes, alive, Roxanne, alive. In 
in the very thick of the battle. We saw him shining with glory like a god among men. No one can touch him. He is indestructible. But I did the meanest of the fighting. Oh, heaven protect him. Oh, what of Silano? What he does? Is he seeking Clisa oh. from the army fire? Silano, most glorious of all. He is leading the charge against the Spanish army. We saw him there in the very vanguard. His cloak blowing round him like a storm cloud. The great white plumes of his heart dancing wildly. His sword flashing like an endless streak of the lightning. They'll win! They'll win! Their victory is certain! Did you see Zugis? Standing on the hilltop, giving orders calmly, keeping in safety out of the battle while his men flames the enemy. The miserable coward! Stop them, stop them! Ninia, go back and bring Clisa out of the battle. Tell him I'm here. I want to see him. Fetch Clisa! Oh, Clisa, Clisa! Fire! Coming this way. Come, ladies. You must shelter in the safer place. That way. Fire! Come on! Suddenly very quiet. The battle seems to be over. Shira to Christian wa Spain and Konyeke or Yukan ni send those shamas. It po shiona tekishua, Chicago no Okanoe de Anze o Kako se tatemas. So no toki, you say no has no France to go eno, tetai no trumpet to an arimasta. It tai nani o hotte no de shoka. Is Lydia here? Ah, and what no? Is Roxanne here? She is sheltering over there by that wall. Uh, what happened? Christian has been wounded. Is he going to die? Perhaps. Silano's bringing him here now. We mustn't let Roxanne see him until we. She must be prepared. Uh, what happened? Is the siege over? The Spanish broke out from the town. We attacked Cyrano and Christa in the lead, and we were just about to defeat them when suddenly retreat was sounded. Then we are running in all directions in panic. Now the army is scattered, and the Spanish are reassembling their forces. We broke the siege. What about Cyrano? Is he wounded too? No. He fought at the very front, and without his help, Christian would have been killed. Tetai no konlan no naka, Christian wa chimei shou ootte shimaimashita. Shirano wa Christian wo tasuke koko made taihi shite kimasu. Kare wa Christian to futari dake de hanashita gatte iru yo desu. They are coming now. Put him down here, and leave me. I want to talk with him. But... But, Rolando, be a good friend and keep everyone away for a while. Roxanne's here. Roxanne? How now? She mustn't see me. Please, not yet. I'll take care of him. Now, please, all of you, over there. Christian. Can you hear me? Where am I? What happened? You've wounded, but you are all right. I want to speak to you. You've saved my life, sir. 
Thank you, Cyrano. Listen, I want to talk to you about the letters. The letters? The letters you wrote for me to send to Roxanne? Yes, if Roxanne should ever speak to you about the letters, go on. Don't be surprised if, if, if what? I must tell you, you, tell me quickly, you've written to her more often than you think. You mean you, uh, yes, I've written many more letters to her than you know about. I sometimes wrote to her without telling you. How often? Twice? Three times a week? Four? More than that. Every day? Yes, every day. Sometimes, twice a day. You were carried away by the letters you wrote. That's why you fought so bravely. from Paris to this dangerous place. Why did you come? Because of your letters. Oh, Grisha, you are terribly wounded. Yes, I came here because of your letters. I had to come and see you. You mean you came here because of the letters? Oh. Yes, Grisha, I read your letters. Did you really feel that, Roxanne? Oh, yes! And so you came here? Yes. I wanted to ask you to forgive me. To forgive you? For what? At first, I loved you only because you are handsome. And now I see that that kind of love is nothing at all. Oh, Roxanne. To be handsome is nothing. I don't want you to love me for what I wrote in the letters. I want you to love me because I'm... Because you have a... No! Let me love you in a better way. And now I can. Your face is disfigured by this wound. But no matter how ugly you become, I will always love you, Christian. Don't you see? I love you so. Aren't you happy now? I'm so glad to have told you. Aren't you happy? Yes. What's the matter? I'm dying, Roxanne. Uh, uh, I'm... No, no! Don't say that! Oh, help me to save him! He mustn't die! I can't bear the fault of wrong without Christian! さんは how pale you are! Courage, man! She doesn't love me anymore! What? It's you she loves! No. She loves only my son now! No. Yes, that means it's you she loves, and you love her too! What? I... I know it's true! Yes, it's true. You love her with all your heart. More than that. Tell her so. No. Why not? Look at my face. 
Look at mine. She said she'd still love me, even if my face becomes ugly. She told you that? Yes. Cyrano, let her choose between us. I want you to tell her everything. No, I couldn't bear it. I know she would laugh at me. I'm tired of being my own label. Tell her! Christian, don't try to force me. I want to be loved for myself or not at all. Let her decide. Let her choose. She'll you. She'll choose you. I would love to think so, but wait, she rolls on. Yes. Cyrano has something important to tell you. No, Cyrano, don't go. Something important? What is it? Nothing, Roxanne. Nothing important. Does he does what I've told him? Yes, he does. I can see it from your eyes. But was it really the truth? Yes. I told him I'd love him even if he were ugly. Is that the word you wanted to say? You'd love him even if he becomes ugly? Yes! Even if his face becomes badly scarred? Yes! Nothing could ever make him seem ugly to me! You'd still love him? Yes! Maybe even more! My God! Perhaps it's true. If it is true, she might love me. Can it be that happiness is here within my grasp? At last, I, Roxanne, listen to me. Sierra. Yes. Oh. What's the matter? It's all over now. What is it? It's all over. What now. happened? What was it you are about to tell me? Tell you? Oh, nothing. Nothing, I swear. I swear that Christian's mind and soul were ah, the greatest. Where? Christian! Oh, Christian! Oh, Christian! Rosan. I told her everything. It's still you she loves. Rosan. Yes, my love. Roxanne. A brilliant, masterly poet. Yes, Roxanne. A magnificent mind. Yes, Roxanne. A noble and charming soul. Yes, Roxanne. He is dead. And now I too must die, since without knowing it, she is weeping for me. クリスチャンは死者のもロクサーノを愛していることに気づきました。タイを引き連れて戦場へと再び突入していくのでした。
I'm going to charge the enemy.皆さん、白野は皆を連れて再び前線へと突撃しました。しかしこの後、白野はフランスの農民に敵のスペイン兵だと誤解され、頭を棒で殴られてしまいます。白野は深い傷を負ってしまいます。Another little scratch. <laughs> what a mockery. There was I, reading the chairs. And what happened? A French farmer, one of our own people, thinking I'm one of the enemy, clubs me on the head with a wooden stick. <laughs> <laughs> what a ridiculous way to. Thank God you arrived. Simon's won the battle for France. Battle for France, he did attack like a thousand soldiers. The Spaniards saw him coming and fled in terror. The battle is won. The Spanish defeated. Earth is saved. Simon's our country's greatest hero. Yeah. Yeah. On the head with a wooden stick. Of Alas is over. Officers, our work is done. <coughs> Let us congratulate ourselves on our great success. Madame Loxan, I'm amazed to find you in this dangerous place. But delighted to meet you. I have led this army from Paris and save the city of Alas. Allow me to present my victory at your feet. The banner of the Spanish army. What about this little banner, General? I think this is yours. My? Yes, yours. Your banner of success. When the Spaniards made their first charge today and attacked you on your secure hilltop, this is the banner you waved at them. This white flag of surrender. Because of your great courage, General, the French lost heart and fled. Because of your superb skill in battle, two of your bravest officers 
our captain, a baron Christian de Nuvenet, now lie dead. Don't listen to these fools, Roxanne. They are suffering from envy. They are jealous because I have all the glory. Count the keys. I wish you never to speak to me again. Ever. Officers! Master your force, carry away the dead, prepare for our triumphant return. To the police. <coughs> Go back to Paris, General, and report your victory to the Chief Marshal. It is, after all, your victory. None of us here envies you your triumph. Let our general depart in honor. We'll follow. Togishu was the French Union's victory as his own hand. His hand was to confirm it. Shirano was Togishu was the victory before he was going to the Spanish army. He was showing the red hat of the Spanish army. ギッシュの降参が原因でクリスチャンと隊長は死んでしまったのです護衛兵たちはもはやドギッシュのことを軽蔑していますがシラノは彼にかえってフランス軍の勝利を彼の名誉とすればよいと勧めました本当はシラノの勇敢な戦いによるものであるのにシラノは自分の命がもう長くないことを悟りました We are not going to let him get away with that Who cares who wins the honor of victory as long as summer wins we are all winners and all losers. The truth of it shall. Yes. The truth. The orders have been given. We must prepare for our departure. Is it what? No, it's nothing. Believe me, just a little tap on the head. Oh, my poor friend! Is he seriously injured? Yes, my friend. Fortunately, he has he has wrong to read. Then we must attend no. to let him alone. He is going to die. Let him be with Roxanne. I see. It's really nothing. It will soon go away. Yeah, it's gone. Each of us has his wound. Mine will never be here. Here, his last letter stained his tears and blood. His letter. Would you let me read it, Roxanne? You want to read his letter? Yes, I do. May I? Here. Read it. Farewell, Roxanne. Death is near. You are reading it aloud? I believe this will be my last day, my beloved. My soul is still full of love, and soon I must die. Never again will my eyes delight. Will my eyes delight in beholding each of your graceful gestures. 
Um, I want to cry out. Oh, how well you eat. That's better. Cry out. Goodbye. You read it. My dearest, my darling, my treasure. In a voice that. My love. That. A voice that I'm not hearing for the first time. My heart has never left you for a moment. And in the next world, my love for you will still be as boundless as... How can you read it now? As you are not even looking at it. You let it fall. As boundless as those golden seas and islands we see in the sunset skies. No. I ought to have guessed it each time I heard. You say my name. No, I wasn't. It was you. I swear. I see now the whole self-rest pretense. The letters. It was you. No. The beautiful rubbing was. It was you. No. I swear it wasn't. That's all. It was yours. I never loved you. You did. You did love me. It was Christian. You always loved me. No, no, no. I never loved you. Let me tell you today's news. Today. What day is it? It doesn't matter. Today, not long before sunset, Monsieur de Belgeois was struck down. What is he saying? Cyrano, his hand is on your head. What are they doing? Destiny is a great jester. I've been struck down by a mere country fellow with a wooden stick. You see, it has always been the same. I've failed in everything I've done, even in my way of dying. Oh. Mirano, sir. Don't weep so loudly, Ragnar. Yes. My life has been that of a man who provides words and ideas for others, and then is <coughs> forgotten by everyone. Do you remember that evening when Christian spoke to you below your balcony? Well, that evening was the essence of my life, but now... I love you! At least, I've never been laughed at by a woman, thanks to you. I've at least had a woman's friendship to soften the unbearable loneliness of my life. I brought only one. I'll soon be soaring up to that golden country, somewhere beyond the setting sun. No, no, a man like you, a poet with such a great and noble heart, you can't die this way. It's too stupid to adjust. But who the devil am I? What the devil am I doing here on earth? 
philosopher, poet, swordsman, speaker of sharp words, and lover. Here lies Savine de Cyrano de Bergerac, who was everything. And who was nothing? Excuse me, I must go now. A friend has come to take me away. And I can't keep him waiting. I swear to you that I, I... No, not there, not in the chair. Stand back. I don't want support from anyone. Yes, he is coming. A black shadow. Yes. He is coming, but I'll meet him on my feet, my sword in my hand. Cyrano! 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 I believe I see. Yes, I see him with his noseless face, daring to look at my face. What's that you say? It's useless? The noblest battles are always fought in vain. You are there, death, aren't you? I know I can't defeat you. I know that in the end you overwhelm me. But I'll still fight you as long as there's breath in my body. Yes, you've robbed me of everything. The laurels of glory, the roses of love. But there's one thing you can never take away from me. When I go to meet God this evening and take off my hat before the blue gates of heaven, there'll be one great moment of glory and magnificence because I'll still have one thing, one thing unbroken, one thing without a stain, something I'll take with me in spite of all my enemies. You ask what it is, I'll tell you. What is it, my love? My. Ramboyance, my magnificent dash, my brazen extravagance, my inimitable style. My white plume of feather. My, my, Tanas!
ステージを紹介します。はい、こんばんは、えー、本日は、えー、始末の忙しい中ご来場いただきまして誠にありがとうございます、えー、今回の「シラノド・ベルジュラック」いかがでしたでしょうか楽しんでいただきましたでしょうか、えー、この公演を行うにあたり、えー、いろんな方々のご協力をいただきました、えー、明徳義塾高校及び中学校の、えー、関係者の方々そして、えー、今日登場してくださってます麗澤大学の学生 OB の方々そして何よりも今日忙しい中ご来場いただきましたお客様本当にメンバー一同代表して心よりお礼申し上げますありがとうございます、えー、では、えー、ここで、えー、演出家の先生を紹介する前に最後に白野が言ったパナッシュという言葉プログラムにも書いてありますが日本語に直すと2つの意味がありますそれは彼が今持っているこの帽子の羽飾りこれとそして心意気というこの2つの意味がありますこの帽子にはそういう深い意味が実はあったわけですこのパナッシュという言葉メンバー一同心に刻んでこれからも活動に励んでまいりたいと思いますではここで演出家のギャビン・バントク先生を紹介いたします先生お願いいたします<笑>ああ、just like to thank you ああ、because Many people helped us to do this performance, which you can't see now around us. I'd like to thank those people very much. There's one actor's name which is not on the program. Program in not the name, it's no sell cotton, the Kinakata, and the high low story show. Mr. Ushio. Mr. Ushio. We decided to have a Spanish soldier、uh, about two days ago. Thank you very much, Mr. Ishiba, for being Spanish. Okay, thank you very much.